Hi, it's Tristan back with another video. And in this video, I'm reviewing this camera strap. Uh, it is the Leica M camera strap for Leica M cameras. Also, we'll work on the Q2 or Q. And also, you can use it for any mirrorless camera. Really, it doesn't have to be a Leica, but this happens to be the Leica brand. This is it in what they call a vintage brown color. It is the real leather. It comes in several other colors like uh, black, um, I think red, and you know other colors as well. And you can get it from any official Leica store, like um, any of the Leica stores in the U.S. carry this, um, or even in Europe, you know, Leica stocks this as you know a Leica part. One of the things I liked about this camera strap is it's actually adjustable, so you can actually make it longer or shorter. I have it right here on the middle setting, but this is like a little pin here, this little oval thing. And you kind of push that through, and you see it's got like a little slot there, three little slots and you can actually adjust it to make it shorter or longer depending on how tall you are or what your prefer what your preference is you know a strap actually should be a different length if you're wearing the camera primarily around your neck versus over your shoulder or even diagonally across your body that would be a little bit of a longer camera strap when it's just around your neck you, you kind of want it to be shorter so it's kind of nice that this is adjustable although granted i don't end up adjusting it that much um, because it does take some time to do. But as you can see, it looks really nice and fits my Leica M10P, uh, you know, really well. And it also has the lug, you know, the body guards here where you put the put it on the lugs so it's not gonna scratch, you know, the body of your Leica M. So that's really nice. And then one other thing you should note about this strap is that it comes with a little shoulder piece, which I have actually removed. And you can actually take that off to make it a little bit of a slimmer um, strap. So that looks like this. This is the shoulder piece here. So it's just a little bit of a wider piece that would kind of go around your shoulder. And what happens is you take you know one end of the strap out and you thread this through, and this kind of like lives somewhere on there. Now you can slide it up and down. You know but it kind of lives like that to provide a little bit of a wider width and comfort around your shoulder or around your neck now for me i personally didn't need this piece because uh you know i don't generally the like m setup is pretty light and just having a nice thin strap uh, is kind of nice but certainly the shoulder strap is something that's nice to have and is a nice option if you want to use it it does come installed Another reason why I took that off, however, is sometimes I use this as a wrist strap and I actually, you know, if I'm out shooting and I don't have the camera around my neck or, or on my shoulder, I'll sometimes wrap this around my wrist a couple of times like this and just for secure, just to hold it securely, like kind of like that or whatever, maybe usually a little bit tighter. And then I'll just be holding the camera like this in case I drop the camera, you know, I'll still be attached. Now the condition of this strap is still relatively uh, new condition. Um, actually, I haven't been shooting that much lately just because of COVID and everything. Um, I actually do want to get out and shoot some more. But anyway, um, I imagine this will break in really nicely over the years, take a couple years and just break in really nicely. It still has that kind of new stiff feel, but it will break in really nicely because it is real leather and it seems quite well built and um, you know made really well. I'm not exactly sure what country it's made in, but you know, I don't think it's made in China. I think it's probably made in like Portugal or something like that. Um, probably not Germany, probably Portugal or um, possibly another European country. And again, it is a official Leica item as well. So you can get it at pretty much any Leica authorized dealer. I will post a link here in the description field for where you can get it because actually I think you can get them on Amazon too. It runs about $105. So, um, in the grand scheme of things, it's you know a bit of an expensive strap, but compared to what you're paying for, you know, for Leica stuff, um, that's like a drop in the bucket. And I also think this vintage brown color looks great uh, with a black uh, camera body. I kind of like to mix it up that way. Um, some people like to match it and get a black strap, but I just think it adds just a little bit of class uh, to mix the sort of black and brown color. Questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them. And thanks for staying subscribed for more reviews and videos.